Hello guys, this is Vaish. So we are going to restart our current affairs series, German cockroach. Today in Indian Express, a very big article has come on German cockroach. This is a cockroach which has its origin in India, but is uh, living in uh, countries like Germany and other countries and all specimens were collected from Germany. And it is a very, very dangerous kind of cockroach also because it cannot be killed. It is uh, uh, resistant to insecticides. Even many times its body weight, it can uh, even uh, resist so it cannot be uh, squashed and killed like other uh, cockroaches also and it is spreading a complete ecosystem of uh, uh, diseases and things and uh, you know cockroaches trigger a lot of bacteria fungi and things and all so about that a detailed article has come we will try to see what has come in today's newspaper and uh, those who are studying for 2025 and 24 make sure that uh, you start making notes of every video which we do because we will be uh, doing it in perspective to UPSC uh, exam okay and other competitive exams as well. So cockroach, if you see, it will look like this uh, picture, it is uh, which you can see on screen and it is written there that wherever they go, okay, these uh, things find out ideal conditions in houses, especially in urban environments and all. And then it is like uh, uh, getting adapted to that. And that is how it is spreading uh, wide uh, worldwide. And uh, even though there are certain cockroaches, if you search the IUCN status, it will be endangered or critically endangered and all. But this one is uh, spreading like anything. Okay, there is uh, uh, no uh, limit to it and no stop to it. So this one is considered the most successful cockroach. It is uh, one of the most widely found. Okay, German cockroach. So, Blattella germanica is the scientific name for that. So, it is an unwelcome companion, meaning nobody actually is want to welcome this kind of uh, things into their houses and things and all. But in human habitation on every single continent, this is spreading very fast. And uh, the size you can see up to 2 centimeters, or 0.8 inches long. And it is nocturnally active, meaning we all are sleeping, but nighttime this will be active and doing certain things. Okay. So, the brown insect is especially fond of the places that are dark and damp. Okay. A little bit moisture kind of thing. So, if moisture is not there, it cannot survive. So, again, it is not found in the wild. It is there in like in our urban environments. It is, uh, uh, as I told, spreading like anything. And then that comes complete ecosystem it is damaging so first if you take the history of it it was classified by swedish naturalist it is uh, carl and in 1776 way long back and uh, he actually uh, got these specimens samples for the first time from germany that is why it was called german cockroach okay it doesn't have its origin because the origin later a different team of national university of singapore was looking for its origin and find out that it is actually coming from uh, india and myanmar okay it is uh, actually coming from india and myanmar human settlements and then it went and settled in germany or they uh, illegally and there i don't know so they all entered there and that is how it has grown okay so about 1200 years ago they are telling the uh, route it took okay like uh, one is like the spread of islam so because of that it got a, a wave of growth and then another is like because of the european colonialism british and netherlands uh, dutch people were occupying everywhere so along with humans this is also moving around and that is how it has grown and become the most successful cockroach as it is termed by the indian express today okay so uh, the trade improved everything improved and by 18th century we see that specimen was collected by but but by the 20th century it has spread everywhere and now it is known to every kind of human across the globe okay so Wherever these go, as I told, they adapt to this uh, cold uh, areas, the plumbing areas, wherever it is. And then even in chillier uh, regions, okay, in cold countries, it is able to adapt to those environment, urban environment. And these, uh, uh, as I told, they will die of thirst if they don't find uh, uh, damp corners like in modern houses and all. Okay. So people who are uh, having modern houses and these things and all is able to little bit at least keep away this uh, uh, kind of creatures. Okay. So compared uh, with other uh, roaches, other cockroaches, it is particularly resistant to insecticides. Okay, the chemicals and all, it is uh, becoming like immune to it. And then that generation itself is completely getting immune. So insecticide doesn't work on uh, these uh, kind of uh, creatures also. Okay, so uh, their entire population, they are able to rebuild like within few months and they have a huge army of people who is actually uh, like, uh, as I told, triggering a lot of things, which I'll show you in the last final slide that uh, the skills which it has. Okay, it moves incredibly fast. It can even go through these tiny cracks and all and enter our houses. And then uh, it has this uh, claws is there, then this sticky, sticky uh, adhesive organs it has that it can climb on any surface, any vertical surface it can climb. And above all, these are very resilient. I told 900 times its body weight also it can resist. It is virtually unsquashable. It is uh, not being able to, like we can't kill this uh, kind of uh, German cockroaches. Okay, so the most insecticides are having little effect on them. And as I told, they are vectors of spreading this bacteria, fungi, viruses and all. So they will trigger allergia, uh, sorry, allergies, uh, diarrhea, 
and uh, hepatitis A, anthrax and all these dangerous, dangerous things is spread by this single creature called the German cockroach. So hopefully we will be able to uh, do something to destroy this uh, thing along with the complete ecosystem and the army which is having. So we will uh, come with more details like this. This is what came in today's newspaper. You should read your newspaper yourself also and then try to follow us also. If you also are someone who hate cockroaches, especially these kind of German cockroaches, you can just put a like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel so that we can continue this initiative and get you more and more current affairs. Okay, so thank you. Thank you.